Okay, punters, here we are in the kitchen. Alyssa, known as Liss, here on Copper Mountain. It's a beautiful day outside. It is a ripper. And we've been lucky enough to come into this amazing kitchen. Lisa, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, so I've been in the kitchen cooking for about 15 years. Uh, born in Massachusetts, raised in South Florida. Grew up with uh, my grandma cooking in the kitchen. She really yeah, right. inspired me to do a lot. And uh, made my way to Copper Mountain. I've just been here about four years and loving really? every minute of it. So what's your what's your speciality? What's your go-to dish? I would say like uh, Latin American cuisine, Caribbean cuisine Sick. is my specialty. Yeah, right. It's Amazing. a little bit rare, you know, growing up in uh, South Florida and being Puerto Rican, having a Puerto Rican background. Yep. A lot of rice and beans, plantains. Yeah. Uh, just taking a unique twist on that and stuff. Yeah. So I what? try to kind of infuse that a little bit here at Duke's. I have a couple of unique um, creations. We got a Cuban. We got a salmon BLTA and stuff. So. Doing restaurants in the mountains, I've always found it shit can happen. Like you, you, you are in the middle of ordering, amazing day. The next second you get a storm come in. Yeah. What's it like for you here on the mountain to get your product? Oh, just yesterday uh, we had a a big snowstorm and uh, yeah, we know our that. delivery <laughs> trucks weren't able to make it up the mountain. So yeah. Hopefully today we'll get uh, our produce and everything arriving on time today. But for the most part, you know, I try to. You know, dot all my I's, cross all my T's, make yep. sure my back's always covered so that we never run out of anything and we can provide a good service to our guests. Yeah, that's amazing. So look, I'm feeling a bit peckish. What are we gonna do? Today we're gonna present to you the Salmon BLTA. Oh, let's do it, eh? What do we need to do? All right, first we're gonna start with a nice hot pan and our piece of salmon. And we choose salmon because it's a good source of protein and the best source of vitamin B12. We're gonna season it with some S&P garlic mix then we're going to season it with Epic. some togarashi seasoning, which is actually an Asian-inspired seasoning blend. That's it's a great. nice uh, Asian touch because it's going to actually go with our Asian milk bun. So an Asian milk bun, tell me about that. So our Asian milk bun, we actually, it's our in-house freshly baked at Copper's very own bake shop. Yeah, made right. Made by chef, uh, the pastry chef Daniel. Yep. And he makes them every day for us, and we're just gonna toast it up, butter it up, yep. give it that nice, warm, oh, yeah, fresh no, feeling. Your, your butter spinner. Yeah. How good's that? Butter wheel. Yeah, we just use a pastry brush butter. <laughs> <laughs> Usually to build the sandwich, we're gonna use our roasted garlic mayonnaise. That's gonna go on our bottom bun. Then we use our bib lettuce. It's just a fresher lettuce. It's got like a nice buttery taste. Yeah, we call that it's butter a lettuce. It's more elegant, yes. Yeah. Gonna place our lettuce down, medium marble cup. Yep. It also has like a deep, rich, smoky bacon flavor oh, that beautiful. just brings the whole sandwich together. Now, what type of wood would they have used to smoke that? Uh, pecan wood. Pecan. Yes. Oh, yes. right. So good old pecan. Yep. Doing it again. I'm gonna come on back over here. Yep. All right. It's gonna get a little hot in here. Yeah, yeah. A bit of white wine going down. Boom. Deglaze the pan. That is our white wine. Yeah, white beautiful. wine to deglaze it. Get all that flavor in there. We're gonna oh, turn that guy over. That and let him finish doing his thing. So once we have our salmon done. Yep. Gonna put this guy right here. That whole portion goes on there. That whole guy. Yeah, you better be hungry with that. <laughs> My God, that's monstrous. <laughs> and then of course, last but not least, our fanned out avocado for, yep. the, for the A and our BLTA. Beautiful. Not only gives it that elegant look, but it also has a uh, key source of nutrients in our avocado as well. Definitely. And that's and how here, it comes? This is how it comes with some french fries. There we go. Woo! Wow. It is the way yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. perfect. <laughs> really good. Mm-hmm. Come down and get one, crew. Beautiful. Thank you so much for having yeah, us in your kitchen. Thank you. I hope I did all right for you guys. Oh, you did I was great. really nervous. But... Oh, it's a kitchen, you know, you got to mm. razzle dazzle and you yeah. got to burn your fingers. No one gets that. But After a while, I felt a little comfortable, you know, I'm in my element. So I'm going to come back later on this afternoon. Thank you, John. It was nice thank meeting you. Thank you so much. Pleasure.
see you up the mountain 10 minutes ago. You crash out and you're down the car park. What is going on here? Hi. How's it going? This I'm, looks epic. What's your name? I'm Martha. Yeah, what's going on? How did you find him? Well, we just met each other in the parking lot. We started chucking some oysters and For real? got some prawns and a little grill set up. So. I love it. So where's this idea come from? Well, I just really love seafood and I love snowboarding. So I like to do a meld of the two. And yeah, I like to bring it when I come out to the mountain. It's a pretty fun treat. You know, it's a little bit ridiculous, but also there's some really good health benefits to eating seafood like this. And it's just fun for me, so. And what's the health benefits of oysters? Yeah, oysters, I would say, are probably one of the most nutritious foods that you can eat, or the richest dietary source of zinc, that protein, vitamin B12, copper, you know, all sorts of vitamins and minerals there um, for you. So, you know, that's, that's even just like in like a serving of six oysters, you can have six times the amount of zinc that oh my you need for the day. So, yeah, they, qu uh, they pack quite a punch and yeah, they're really great. I love them raw, char grilled, you know, however. Yeah, a little char grilled here. So how do you know so much about nutrition? So I'm actually a registered dietitian. Yeah, so I have my degree in nutrition and dietetics and I spent a little time in the clinical world and now I'm specializing in mountain sport nutrition. So working with athletes to just ensure that they're fueling appropriately and you know know how to eat to really perform their best and recover so that you can keep having fun on the mountain yeah well i've got up this morning and had like a piece of bread i think so yeah. i probably need to have some of your oysters yeah John. oh my god i gotta do this thank you <laughs> cheers so just bottoms up yeah bottoms up Oh my gosh. Mm. This is a new take on Apres Ski, right? I here. know, right? It's, uh, it's epic. Yeah. I love it. My goal is to really encourage people that are active to really consider what they're eating and, you know, eating more often because we see that at higher altitudes, your appetite's decreased. Mm -hmm. So you're not feeling hungry, you're not feeling thirsty as well. Yeah. Um, but then also, you're put, you know, you're exerting a lot of energy. So trying to take, you know, be cognizant of, yeah, you know, it's fun to go out and drink beers and have a good time. Obviously that's part of it, but then also making sure, sure you're fueling yourself appropriately so that, you know, you can continue going the next day and you don't feel like you're like completely bedridden, yeah, you know, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, no, I've done a few of those in my times doing snow seasons, yeah. being completely out of it the yeah. next day and not wanting to get out of bed to go snowboarding again, yeah. which we all love or skiing. Yeah, it's exactly. All, it's all so good. Yeah, so it's just a quicker turnaround time, I would say, so that you can just like keep having fun and doing what you like to do. That's no, it. No. Well, this is a good education. You've definitely got John at work, and I'm yeah. glad to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Collaborate, get the message out to people, and yeah, enjoy times like this. Yeah. Oyster and snow obsessed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Brewery crew, here we are with Chase, head chef and general manager. He's um, come out of the kitchen, busy session, trivia going on. Hey Chase, yeah, we'll thanks for having us way, brother. So, yeah, thanks for coming. Sweet yeah, man. Appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about your venue here and sure. stuff like that. So Birdcraft has been open for about two years now. We opened in 2020. Yeah. Um, we're a Thai inspired fried chicken place. Thai um, inspired fried chicken. That's right. So cool. everything on our menu, with the exception of our sandwich, is gluten free. Yep. Um, our entire menu, with the exception of our ice cream, is dairy free. So that yep. kind of caters to the gluten free, dairy free, yeah. free crowd. I'll uh, I'll throw some food together for you guys right now. We'll send out a spread for you guys.
are at Outer Range Brewery at the minute. Great place, came in here last night. We're about to hit the road and get to Steamboat. Boom, Copper Mountain. Boom, Frisco. Boom, Marfa in the car park. And I've got the wind up. We had a great time at Jukes. Here we go, let's drive. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> 